Hello everyone. What is the first thing come to your mind when you want to book a car ride to the airport? Let's say if you want to book a hotel or an apartment or even a restaurant, you all probably have this company in your mind. This company, they revolutionize their respective industry. But what about booking wedding service in Vietnam? What's come to your mind? Nothing, right? So our mission is to change that. My name is Anh Đỗ, founder of Han Pool Technology. The problem is, couples didn't have difficulty in finding good vendors with promotion, and they want to organize their wedding effectively, and when to set time in wedding, sending wedding invitation. And for unlucky couples, they have problem and they have bad experience from the vendors. Why? Because 80% of wedding students in Vietnam has been using Excel and pen and paper work for, uh, to manage their business. And in the rush season, they hire a lot of freelancers and they ha have to manage up to 80 TV events a day. It results in loss of revenue and bad customer service. Like Phuc and Hang, on Hanpu, they can um, find, uh, find the right vendors, compare the service, connect with them, chat with them, book and pay them online. All proposal will stay in one place. And they can easily create IVP. Uh, after Chris SAP, Hanpu will get a, a link for them to send for their friends and family and immediately, immediately they will see who they will enjoy their special day. And the recipient can set the calendar to their mobile phone. In other hand, we have the chassis. Uh, chassis can manage booking from Food and Hang through Hanpu. Chassis can manage other customer, other project, his marketing campaign automatically from pre production production and port production. He can easily expand his minute to our Hanpu. So to wrap it up, Hanpu is also a marketplace that we will offer tools for the wedding, uh, we offer the tool for web vendor needs to uh, pro promote and administrate uh, to business. And we are a platform to help the young generation to compare and make their wedding planning easily. This is the team behind the mission. I have six years in wedding and advertising industry, two years in tech startup, and our CTO has four years in software development. Luckily, we have some senior guys becoming our mentors. Thanks for Mr. Anh Vu from Amazon, Fred Anh from Google, and Leon Lee from MP Partner. Wedding industry is multi-million dollars, that being digitized and disrupted. Why? First, the wedding cost in Vietnam is from 10,000 to as high as 45,000, depends on the household's income. And 5 billion is valuation in Vietnam wedding markets. This is highly provide from Rocket and Net Germany. And Fanpu focus on the 35% in the wedding value chains. That includes photographers, videographers, event, deco event planners, decorators, and wedding dress. So our thing, our, our platform launch, we kept 800 RSVP made to our platform, and we got 20 vending vendors using our management system. Here's, here's our business model. We got two phase. The first way, our SaaS will have free version and uh, with the and the subscription fee uh, monthly. And for the SAP, we charge the user from free up to five dollars. And when our system runs smoothly. But it's out to marketplace, we will take commission from two to five percent commission depends on the type of transaction. And now you can wonder yourself what is the alternative products and how the competitive landscape in Vietnam? This paid out diagram will show how unique solution, Hanpu unique solution that's suitable for the creative field and wedding Vietnam market in Vietnam. We are raising funds for the next 1.5 year, uh, years. We want to scale our sales team, start B2B marketing, and we, want, and we can reach, after 1.5 years, we can reach 55 MRR, and we want to dominate the hard market. So wedding is the most important in your life, and you, if you want to couples out there to help their memory, uh, memory to uh, as long as they live, and if you want to entire, uh, sorry, if you want to digitize the Vietnamese wedding markets, this time to join the Hanpu. Thank you. Thank you for your attention.
great presentation and timing is also so great. Um, I just have very uh, two short questions to ask you. The first one, are you married? Okay, okay. <laughs> and so you experience all the problems with choosing wedding vendors. Okay, so the second one, um, what do you think is the most popular channel right now for like um, uh, couples to when they search for uh, wedding vendors? Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Uh, the first thing that it depends on the word of mouth, and uh, it. Uh, but uh, this word of mouth is not uh, uh, effective for them, and because uh, and now they can just only uh, Facebook search to uh, find the studio uh, locally uh, near near them. But it uh, because in the it was the mouth is not two uh, two two ways. First is effective, and first is negative, because in two ways they. Uh, Cannot the uh, case um, uh, experiment? They, are, they can choose the uh, bad, uh, the good vendors, but they also choose the the bad vendor because they don't have any filters to help them to uh, f uh, quality to, for their style. The, the, because it's the creativity is real. It, it needs uh, uh, it needs uh, it needs many uh, service, many portfolio to compare. Is the problem? Do, do you know why word of mouth is still very popular for newlywed? I mean, uh, supposedly newlywed couples. Uh, pardon. Uh, I mean, do you do you know why it's still very popular? Because they don't have any platform to search. I think it's more about trust because we yes. don't know how to search. Sorry, because I just got married. Or I also experienced the same sort of problems that you experienced. So, <laughs> okay. and, um, because it's all about the problem of trust. We don't know where to search for. So the best way is to ask your friends who have just got married and to sort of, you know, use a similar vendor. So how are you going to solve that with Hapu? Uh, um, thank you for your question. Uh, first, uh, because uh, our vendors join our platform, it's must, uh, we must uh, pass our uh, creative uh, career quality about the portfolio. And because we provide the uh, our SaaS system to help them to manage, and when uh, you, you, they use our system, it have the uh, uh, high quality in uh, customer service and uh, the provide uh, their service. That's why uh, this uh, is uh, the main uh, the is our advantage to uh, let the customer to join our platform to share a uh, compare service and the uh, bosom online. Yeah, I, th I think the most important thing you have to look at is, like she was saying, vendors and also the couples that you are targeting. Your first hundred customers will be your most important with this sort of model. I love the model. I think, I think it's a really good model. So how, do you go, how are you going about getting the couples, the first hundred couples, so to speak, for your uh, service? Uh, uh, could you explain again? So you're looking for um, different users, right? And I'm just trying to figure out how are you going to find your first hundred users like for the product? Uh, OK, this is the... the uh, first, because ISPP, uh, ISPP is a main function when couple want to uh, create uh, to send to the friends. That's first. But uh, the next phase, we focus on uh, the vendors. We provide SaaS to it because the, our 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 system is SaaS network marketplace. That we help us to the uh, show the demand first. We won't fo we will focus on demand, but we have uh, another tool like ISP to uh, uh, get them to. Uh, to uh, let them to attract them to our platform, and uh, I mean that uh, this is, is a very much, uh, um, popular model now, like open table, and uh, people come uh, for us to the tune, and they will stay for the network. Yeah, because the first what I'm what I'm trying to get at is the first hundred customers will be very important because yes. when you satisfy them, the model can continue in the future because they will be your. Sort of uh, okay, uh, do you mean the go to market, Jesse? Yeah. Uh, okay, uh, for the customer. The, I mean the end users, couples. End users. They uh, are, uh, we, uh, we will create workshop about wedding, job wedding fairs, and for some uh, event for the young generation okay. to promote our system. Thank you. I'd like to understand more about the business model. So you want to be a marketplace for photographer, video maker, and uh, makeup, or you want to uh, uh, provide like advice for wedding blend? Planner, what is your business model? What what way you earn the money? Uh, firstly, we help the end user connect directly with the vendors, and the vendors can use our system to uh, for uh, our system will streamline from the orders to the final invoice for the customer. Sorry, what you mean by final invoice? 
uh, because they don't have any uh, um, system to, uh, because based on our CRM, they can uh, get the customer pay them uh, early. So what kind of service uh, within the wedding value chain that you focus? Only the photo and video maker or just a wedding venue? Uh, we don't focus on wedding venue. We just focus on the service like photographer, videographer, makeup artist, wedding dress, and event planners. Okay, so I see a risk about, it's not as risk, but uh, it's just a limitation about the customer lifetime value. Because for each couple, they come to the website maybe once during their lifetime, I hope so. Yes, <laughs> they, of course. They're only married one time. Yes. So the fee, the fee you get to them is just uh, 2% to 5% of total fee they paid for photographer, right? Uh, what? what you... the, the fee you get to each couple, yes. uh, how much uh, you get uh, from them? The fee is uh, from the, the value of order we take from the vendors. It's not a fee, no, not a fee. Uh, I mean, I take commission from the, the type of transaction. Right, yes. what is the commission fee? How, how much percentage? Uh, from two to five percent. Because okay. the value of wedding service is very high. Mm. The average of wedding is uh, about um, um, four, $400. So that means that for each couple during their lifetime, you just get from them like uh, $8, for example during the, ah, the lifetime, okay. which means you have to acquire a lot of customer. So what is your plan for the customer acquisition? Because I see the number 200,000 of user, right? Uh, it uh, is uh, our, our, because the first way is uh, our system, it's just a SVP application. And now we, after one year, we uh, research and how to make our platform to scalable and repeatable and profitable more. And, uh, one, and now we are focused on SaaS and, and marketplace. SAP, we, uh, uh, we uh, leave it now, uh, leave it uh, later. So why don't you choose the wedding venue as your key service provider? Um, because um, uh, for the vendors, they just use uh, one or two management system. And the marketplace, uh, marketplace they can uh, push their service or everywhere. So uh, the key is when you have the vendors, is the right customer. Uh, I mean, uh, the demands will be attracted by the supply. So I think um, the most important point, you need to um, validate your market. Previous slide showed that you have uh, you know, $5 billion market. But within that, I think the majority of things will be wedding venue. Uh, so what is the market size for, you know, photography, jewelry, uh, the other stuff? Yes, nice question. Um, because the, the, uh, to define the wedding market value is very uh, hard, but uh, I can show that the, for example, uh, in just a wedding invitation is also a wedding, is also a billion industry. Why? Because out there is many companies with young generation, they are always to, uh, uh, always, uh, they can lie, they can live for, a long time because for the couple customer and as a second because the market is dominated by the millennials uh, I mean that because the life sales cycle is very short millennials can come to to millennials can uh, come to this place to serve for the customer and for the customer the, the wedding quality is they need is so high they so need about how greeting. many people get married in Vietnam every year uh, um, estimates, it's just a number of estimates, they are um, 500,000. And how much do they spend on average uh, for, for other stuff besides venue? Uh, the average, I can uh, uh, tell you an uh, accurate number, but it's from the 10,000 to SIH 45,000. But within that, how, 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 how much is for your type of service, like photography, you know, besides venue booking, right? What? On average, it's 10,000, for example, but mo m the most of it is for booking a venue, for pay paying for food. And uh, yes. what is uh, the average value booking for your type of service on the platform? For example, photography, uh, travel, kind of stuff? Uh, because it's actually, we just focus on this market at 80% the wedding value chain, that's photo, video, for you see. Yes, we focus on 35% on, uh, on this pie. Yeah, so actually, uh, 
I, I had the honor to talk to you quite a little bit uh, more time and more questions, you know, we put together. But important here, as, I, as Ms. V mentioned about, you know, you need to be a little bit more in detail about your targeted customer, about the market size in Vietnam you focus on first. Of course, we will uh, be aspiring to the region or to worldwide, but you need to focus very detail on that. And in terms of technology, point of view, we, we also discussed yes. about that. You need to help to uh, how to, to be scalable, uh, you know, when you get to bigger number. For example, in the page, when I see the phase one, right, the number you put here was amazing, <laughs> like uh, 8 million to 2020. But uh, we need to be very in detail about the roadmap, the, fa the phasing, how you get to the number in, in, in detail way, in very detail how you get to that, and, and, and explains one thing leading to that, right? Uh, for many people here, the SaaS model is a little bit uh, and not uh, familiar to everyone here, non-technology people. So maybe in the future you will explain a bit more why uh, the vendors, the wedding vendors, they should focus on the SaaS model. Is is how good for them and how good for you as a or operator for the touch, touch platform, and to be in terms of cost effective or also in terms of how to be scalable, right? So just my quick point on that. I hope we can talk later on, you know, because we have a limited time here. Yes. Thank you for your helpful slide as well.